A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come, Silver! Let's go, Big Poe! I am Silver! Time after time, the stagecoaches that carried cash were stopped and looted near the town of Clareton. It's a holdup. Rain up, driver. Ho, ho there, ho, boys. Ho, steady there. Ho, easy there. Ho. Now throw down that express box there beside you. You doggone crooks. Reach for that shotgun and you stop lead. Now listen, we're not carrying any We cash. heard different. Throw down that box. Three days later. Ho, ho there, ho boy, ho, ho there, ho, steady. Hey, you're the same critters that held up my stage before. Yeah, you told us you wasn't carrying cash. Now say the talk and hand it over. The law will get you too, mark my you words. Don't worry about that. Just throw down that express box. And one week after that. Ho there, ho, ho, boys, ho, steady there, ho, easy there, ho. Hey, how come you two always know when I'm carrying cash? You haven't missed once. Yeah, we don't aim to. Now let's have it. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> on your way. Get going. Get out there. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh. You can look for us next time you're carrying something that's worth taking. <laughs> The highwaymen seem to have inside information. Butterfields that carried no gold or money went through unmolested. There had been no sign of trouble when the westbound brought a well-dressed Easterner to Clareton. As he walked toward the station, his steel gray eyes studied the crowd that had gathered. Then a smile of recognition crossed his face, and he quickened his step, hurrying toward the local stage line manager. Dave! Yeah, what are you... Great 
jumping juniper if it's not Mr. Edwards. What are you doing in town? Dave, where can we talk? Private? Yes. Over in the office, this way. Say, I never knew you were coming. Why didn't you ride and let me know? I preferred to arrive unexpectedly. Oh. Well, here we are. Just step inside. Lempy. Huh? Just leave the sweeping and get along. Clem will finish. I'm almost done, Mr. Moran. Leave it be. All right, if you say so. Just take a minute, though. Vamoose. Oh, I reckon Mr. Simpson will be looking for me at the cafe anyway. And Lempy, close the door after you. Sure, Mr. Moran, sure. I'll take this chair, Dave. Who was that? Lempy. Don't know as I've ever heard his last name. He sweeps out the cafe for Sam Simpson at night and does odd jobs for me during the day. Why? Well, he doesn't seem to be very bright. <laughs> I guess he's not. Now, what's on your mind? Hold-ups. Yeah, I thought as much. More than a dozen in the last three months. I know. Dave, it means I'll have to sell the line or go bankrupt. I've had to make good on every one of those stolen shipments. In the last 90 days, I've paid claims amounting to more than $60,000. Mr. Edwards, do you want my resignation? I didn't come here for that. I'm in charge here. I don't be... fire men who've worked faithfully. I don't blame you. If you can't get to the bottom of this business, there must be some reason for it. And I came here to find out what the reason is. Did you know there's never been a stage stop that wasn't carrying dust or cash? Hmm. Yeah. Well, then these highwaymen know when valuable shipments are made. Yeah. Who's tipping them off? I'd give my right arm to know that. Half of them holdups happened when no one but me knew cash was being shipped. The drivers and guards didn't even know. Mm hmm. Well, what have you done about it? Uh, everything I could think of. I finally hired a fella I think can get results for us. An investigator? Yeah. His name's Sandy Norris. He used to work for Wells Fargo. Mm hmm. Uh... Well, the name's familiar. It ought to be. He's caught more stage robbers than any dozen other fellas put together. I'd like to oh, meet him. Oh, oh. You will. That's him raining up outside. Just a minute and he'll be in here. I hope he knows his business. He's plain poison to crooks. Most of them know it. Glad you're here, Steve. I've been checking up. Go on in, Sandy. Now, this here's Mr. Edwards. He's owner of the line. Mr. Edwards, this is Sandy Norris. How do you do, uh, Sandy? Sir? Did these holdups bring you west, Mr. Edwards? They did. Well, if that's the case, you won't have to stay long. I think I've got a line on the fellow behind him. You do? That's good news, Norris. Sandy, who is it? It can be one of two fellas, Dave. You've uncovered something? Huh? Let me ask you two something. Have you ever figured you've been wrong, Dave? Suspicioning everybody working for you? What do you mean? Seems to me you're forgetting the fellas who'd be sure to know when cash was being shipped. What's that? Ever think of the fellas that have been sending cash to the bank over in Dodge City? I see what you mean. If I were sending out money, I could tip off the robbers so they'd know when I intended to ship it. That's right. Then they'd hold up the stage, take the money, and divide it with me. Right. The stage company would have to make good the entire loss. I'd lose nothing. In fact, I'd be ahead with my share of the stolen money. <laughs> Norris, I think you've hit it. Yeah. There's one man in town who's had cash on every doggone one of the stages that have been held up. Sam Simpson. Right. Simpson? I mentioned him a minute ago. He owns a cafe. Norris, you suspect him? A lot of things point in his direction. Aside from the fact that the stage is stopped whenever he ships cash, he's got ways of knowing when other men send out gold or money. How? Well, you see, men are inclined to get talkative when they relax over a drink in Simpson's place. Sam just keeps his ears open. Do you have any proof to back your suspicions? I said there were two men who might be back of the holdups. Simpson's just one. Who's the other? Well, I expect to have the answer to that tonight, Mr. Edwards. Simpson will be in the cafe tonight. I'll pay him a visit. By the time darkness fell, the cafe in Clareton was well filled. Sam Simpson was in his office in back of the establishment talking to Sandy Norris when a tall, broad-shouldered man dressed as a prospector entered. Excuse me, mister. Certainly. 
The swamper stepped out of the stranger's way and stood looking after him as he strode toward the bar. What's the matter, Limpy? Stranger scare you? Is he a friend of yours, Limpy? You're quitting early tonight, ain't you? You gents mind your own business. I don't know who the stranger is. Swamp him's all I'm <laughs> Neither Limpy, the swamper, nor the men in the cafe who looked curiously at the stranger realized that he was not the prospector he appeared to be. He was none other than the almost legendary masked rider of the plains, known throughout the West as the Lone Ranger. He had entered the cafe without his mask, his face disguised. Now, stranger, what do you have? You can give me some information. Like what? Who owns this cafe? Sam Simpson. Why? Where is he now? What's that to you? I want to talk to him. In that case, you'll have to wait your turn. He's in his office now, talking to Sandy Norris. Sandy Norris? Yeah. And from what they said, they don't want to be disturbed. Does that door back there lead to the office? That's it. Hey, where are you going? Outside. I'll be back in a minute. What's that? Hey, them shots came from Simpson's office. Who's in there? Hey, what's going on? Come on. Where are you going? Into that office. Hurry, man. Get the sheriff. Sam's in there. Well, the door's locked. Better stay out, stranger. Let the sheriff Stand handle aside. it. Stand aside. What are you going to do? Break in the door. Stand back. There may be more shooting. Wait a minute, stranger. Come on. Well, boss, what happened? Mr. Simpson, you... I didn't do it. There were three shots. They must have come from the window. Barkeep, take a look at Sandy Norris. He may still be alive. Right. Stand back. Don't crowd in here. Let me through there. Out of my way. What happened in here? Sheriff. Yep, I'm the sheriff, all right. Just who are you? You're mighty free with giving orders. Sheriff. Sandy Norris is dead. Hey, hey, hey. What happened? We heard shots and broke in here. Simpson was standing just as you see him. Norris was there on the floor. That being the case, Sam, I'm arresting you for murder. But, Sheriff, I... I never killed him. I swear it. I... Well, everything happened so fast, I... I don't know what to say. We were sitting here talking and out... Stranger, you say you had to bust in here? Yes. Then the door was locked. There's no other door. It's the only way out except for that window. Was anyone in here besides you and Sandy Sam? No. You, you stranger, stay away from that, Windy. I am the law here, and I'm giving orders. Sheriff, look. I right said right. I'm giving the orders here. You stand where you are. Sam, you being the only one here, you did the killing. No, no, Sheriff, I, I didn't. I... Boss, I never figured you'd turn killer. Sheriff, Simpson isn't armed. Where's the gun that killed Norris? I got eyes to see he's not armed. You keep out of this. Sam, what'd you do with the gun? Come on, speak up. Sheriff, you got to believe me. I, Sheriff, I never... Here's the gun. Wait, you got it, Limpy? Uh, I guess it's the one. Where'd you get it? Well, Sam said them shots come from outside, so I looked. And there was the gun right there below the window on the ground. Sam could have tossed it out. But I didn't. Sheriff, whoever shot Norris must have dropped his gun when he was making a getaway. You still claim them shots came from outside, eh? They did, Sheriff, I swear it. Sheriff, listen to me a moment. Has ever oh, that, I'm uh... the law. And I don't want no interference from strangers. You keep out of this, mister. Well, Sheriff, please listen to the stranger. Maybe he's noticed something you missed. I've got the evidence I need, Sam. Nora suspected you of the holdups. He's here with you. And he's shot dead. I find the gun outside the window where you could have tossed it. The gun has been fired, and it's your gun. You were under arrest for murder. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger, disguised as a prospector, found it impossible to make himself heard by the cocksure sheriff. He left Clareton as Sam Simpson was led to jail. A little later, he reined up in camp at the edge of the town. Oh, 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 easy, sleeping fellow. Tonto, the mystery rider's faithful Indian companion, was waiting for him. The Lone Ranger quickly dismounted and began at once to remove his disguise, preparing to don his familiar clothes and the mask that identified him. Get this stain off. You find out about robberies in town? While I was in the cafe, Sandy Norris was murdered. He was in Simpson's office. Although the two men were alone. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. You, uh, Thanks. you think Simpson killer? I doubt it, Tonto. The sheriff claimed Simpson killed Norris and dropped his gun outside the window. Well, he could have. But if he'd had the presence of mind to do that, he would have made a getaway. Oh, why you say that? If he'd stopped to think, he'd have known he'd be the first person suspected. Oh, that's right. I tried to point out to Sheriff Bates that there were powder burns on the windowsill. Uh-huh. The powder burns looked as if someone had steadied the gun against the sill and then fired. Mm, what did him say? He wouldn't listen to me. Now, the position of Norris's body also pointed to the fact that the shots came from the window. Lawman not see that? No. Hand me the mask, will you, Tonto? Uh, uh, here. Oh, thanks. Simpson looked dazed and bewildered. He certainly didn't look like a man who was guilty of murder. But unless the truth is learned, he'll be convicted on circumstantial evidence. Who you think killed Norris, fella? Toto, Norris came here to investigate the holdups. Ah, uh, me know. He suspected a couple of men... He said he'd know who was guilty after talking to Simpson. Oh, me savvy. It looks like the guilty man feared the result of the conversation. He must have murdered Norris to protect himself and handle it so Simpson would be blamed. You know, killer? No, not yet, but I hope to. All right, get your horse, Uh, Toto. Scout ready. The killer's a man I suspect. He's one of the shrewdest outlaws in this territory. Steady, Silver. Ready, Tonto? Uh Show up me ready. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. It was later that same night when the eastbound stage from Clareton moved slowly up a steep hill. The horses had to labor on the moonlit trail. Come on, you critters. Get along there. All the way, Dan Rich. You pull there. But just as the stage reached the top of the grade... Hey, what the... Two horsemen suddenly appeared from the shadows. Straight up there. On the race and more outlaws. Ho, oh, easy there. Ho, oh, oh, ho, boys. Easy, steady there. Ho, oh. oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Easy, steady. Oh. Now, look here. This is a holdup. I'll reach for your gun. Just drop that express box to the trail and be quick about Why, it. Why, you... I said be quick about it. Now, don't shoot. You can have it. I'll get it for you. Follow my orders or the next shot won't go over your head. I'm getting it. I'm getting the box. Drop it over the side. There. Good. Now get going. I'm going. But, uh, mister... Yes? This is one time you get fooled. There's no more cash in that box than there is in my hip pocket. All right, boys, get him. Get him. Get him. You heard what he said, Tonto? Ah. Get him. There's no cash in box. Yes, that's what I hoped. You've got the box? Uh, me got it here. Now we'll get back to camp. One silver. Get him up, scout. The next day, news of the holdup sent Sheriff Bates to the express office. He found Mr. Edwards and Dave Moran both on hand. Well, gents, good evening, Sheriff. Been expecting you, Sheriff. I just got the word. Another holdup, eh? Yes, handled just as the others were. Yep, but the critters were fooled this time. Fooled? There was no cash aboard. Eh? Not a penny, Sheriff. You sure of that? Look at the records if you want to. We weren't carrying a dollar in cash on that stage last night. Well, doggone. That's good news. It it is, Sheriff. What's more, it proves something. What does it prove? This is the first time the crooks held up the stage without getting a lot of cash. They didn't make mistakes like that before Simpson went to jail. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It seems to me it sort of proves that Simpson's the one that was tipping them off. Uh, I see what you mean. But that's hardly proof that Simpson's guilty, though. It's it's... not proof. But it does sort of confirm the fact that Simpson's our man. You're doggone right, Dave. Now, if we can only make him name his partners and tell where the cash is hid... You're wrong. What? There, the door. Mess. Where you are, Sheriff. Don't slap leather. You. You're one of the crooks that's been holding up the stage. I'll 
admit I handled last night's affair. But I don't intend to keep what I took. I simply borrowed it. Now, just keep your hands in sight and don't make any fast moves while we bring in your express box. All right, Tonto, come ahead. Uh The Lone Ranger held a gun on the bewildered men while Tonto carried in a heavy chest equipped with a handle at each end. It's a rich kid with him. I don't savvy this. Why are they bringing that box here? We won't be long in finding out. Here's the express box. It was on last night's stage. (laughs) Bringing it back because it didn't hold cash, huh? Why, you ornery highwayman, I... Dave, you know better than that. Ordinary highwayman wouldn't bother returning this chest. They'd just throw it away. You admitted holding up the stage. Yes, I held up last night's stage. And all the others. No, Sheriff. None of the others. The holdup last night was part of a plan to prove that Simpson is innocent and find the real outlaws and the murderer. Since when did Simpson hire mass gunslingers to speak for him? Sheriff, you were so sure of Simpson's guilt, you didn't think it necessary to look for clues. There was a clue last night. There was a faint footprint outside the window. What's that? Yes, I saw it. And I think I can name the murderer of the investigator right now. But naming him won't prove his guilt. Neither will it find his partners or the stolen money. You mean you propose to do those things? The real killer was at ease when Sam was arrested. He was sure that with Sam's conviction, the case would be closed. Well, uh, last night's robbery was to stir him up. It was part of a trap. But, well, what's the rest of your plan? Tonight, you'll see the trap close. Sheriff, you and Dave and Edwards are riding with me. Although it was nearly midnight, a small campfire burned just within the mouth of a cave in the hills outside of Clareton. Two men sat hunched in the circle of light cast by the blaze. They were heavily bearded, powerfully built. Each of them had the look of a man who lives outside of the law. You know, Mike, I've been thinking about this killing in town. Yeah? What about it? It's got me worried. You uh, think the boss did it? Don't you? Maybe. Might spoil things for us. These holdups have been a mighty good thing. Well, it looks like Simpson's going to hang for it. Nobody suspected the boss. Uh, maybe not. We can go right on like we've been doing, as long as he's all right. Yeah, but how long will that be? What do you mean? Mike, with a killing, the law has to get busy. Even if Simpson does hang for it, the boss is fool enough to kill once, he can do it again. The second one's always easier than the first. Maybe the next time he'll get caught. We'll be due for a hanging along with him. If he was caught, he wouldn't talk. No, he wouldn't gain a thing by talking. Ah, no, but Besides, well, nobody would ever connect us with him. We never meet. When the stage is to carry cash, he leaves a sign for us where we can see it. When we get the cash, we leave his share where he told us to. Nobody could follow us to him or him to us. Yeah, maybe so. As long as he stays away from us while we're in the clear. Why, a lot of... What's the matter? Jake... Someone's outside this cave coming this way. Sure? Yeah, I heard footsteps. I'm the one you heard, you double-crossing polecats. Limpy, the boss. Yeah, me, Limpy. A cafe swamper. And the boss. <laughs> Don't either of you two move. Stay right there in the light of that fire, or I'll blow your head off. But, but, boss, what's the idea? Why'd you come here? So you two thought you could put something over on me, huh? Thought I'd lie low now that Sam's in jail. Thought I'd sit still and let you two jugheads work by yourselves. Boss, what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Last night's holdup. What? Hold up? We don't know anything about holdup. Don't lie. You must have found out there was cash on that stage that I didn't know about. You figured to split two ways instead of three. Well, I'm here for my share. But we didn't hold up any stage. And we didn't get any cash. I said I was here for my share. And your share is my share, all of it. I'll teach you to double-cross me... Now, get out the cash. Everything. Hey, boss, you... You mean the cash from the other holdups? That's just what I mean. You can't do that. It's our share. Shut up. Don't tell me what I can do. I'm taking everything, see? Now, toss out that cash or I'll give you what I gave Sandy Norris. Just what I said. After the first time, killing comes easy. Listen to us, Limpy. Put that gun down. You heard what I said, the cash. Up the guns, Limpy. Wait, who's hey, that? What catch up. Limpy! Someone got him! I've got the same for you two if you want it. Mask. Keep your hands where they are. A redskin. Don't go for any guns. 
Disarm them, Toto. Uh, me get guns. Who are you and where'd you come from? What's that mask mean? You, Limpy. Stay right where you are. I'll take care of Limpy. The sheriff. Hello. You're doggone right. I'm not here alone. Edward. Dave. Come on in here. So Limpy is the sidewinder that's behind the holdups. No. No, listen. Wait. Uh, we heard you, Limpy. You talked yourself into a hangman's noose. And his pals as well. Limpy, you gun-crazy jughead. You brought this mask, hombre. And you also brought the sheriff. No. no. Yes, you did, Limpy. You didn't realize it, but you brought us here. We followed you from town. Followed me? Why should you follow me? Sam's in jail for the murder. He won't be there for long. Last night, I was sure Sam was guilty. I didn't look beyond my nose. But the masked man did. He found footprints outside the window. They were pretty faint, but he and his Indian friend could identify them as yours. He knew I was bullheaded, and he knew it would take more than the footprints to clear Sam and convict you. We couldn't believe that the Swamper was the leader of a hold-up gang. Limpy worked regular for Sam. That explains why the stage was held up every time Simpson sent money on it. It also explains how Limpy got a hold of Sam's gun so he could use it for killing Norris. Yes, sir, that's right. What's more, Limpy? Last night's hold-up was done just so you'd call your partners on it. We followed you all the way from town. The footprint wasn't evidence, but by thunder we got evidence now. Sheriff, we'll get back the money, too. You sure will. Well, give me a hand, boys. We'll rope these three and take them into town. I'll be glad to help. So will I. Oh, going to die. I should have listened to that stranger in the cafe last night. He tried to tell me about some evidence, but I was so darn sure that Simpson was a guilty one. Sheriff, who was the stranger? Well, I don't know, but I've got a mighty good idea that the masked man could... Hey, where'd he go? The masked man? Yeah, he was here a minute ago. Now both he and the Indian are gone. He was right behind us when we started roping those crooks. He left the cave. I tell you, he's the guilty one. Get him. Make him answer some questions. You shut up. You've answered all the questions I want to ask. As for that masked man, we... <laughs> he and the stranger last night have a way of disappearing. But they also got a way of showing up when they're needed. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.